right? 80% of what number is 12? And I'm going to solve this using a tape diagram, but before I even think about setting up my tape diagram, what do I need to identify before I can go any farther? What do I need to identify? Okay, so I need to know the second number is, but how? what am I going to do to help me find that? What else do I need to identify? Okay, I need to identify some, some of the um, parts of the numbers. So, Kyle, can you tell me one of the parts or holes? Um, part is uh, 80%. Okay, and then what else? Part is 12. Hold on, not 80%, but what is the part? Because remember that 80% has a part and has a hole. Oh, so, 80 is the part, and 100 is the whole. Okay, so yesterday Ms. Thompson referred to it as an Oreo, but my second block class did not like it as an Oreo, so I'm going to give you the chocolate chip theory, okay? 80% is like the entire chocolate chip cookie. The part is the chocolate chip, the whole is like the cookie batter, and then when you put them all together, which is the 80%, that's the cookie. Okay, but then you have the part, the chocolate chips, the whole, the batter, and then when you put them together, it's a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so that's why there's differences there. Okay, so I have 80 as a part, 100 as a whole. What else do I have? What else do I have? Okay, so 80% of what number is 12? So 12 is my part. Good. So that means my what number that I'm looking for is a part or a whole? Which one? A whole. Okay. So there's a couple different ways that I can set up this tape diagram. I'll show you one way, and then we'll show another way. So one way that we can set up the tape diagram is by keeping all of our parts together and all of our holes together. So I'm going to make my whole diagram a little bit longer because I have a part and a hole. Okay. I always put my percentage parts and holes on the bottom. So my 80 would go here, and then I would match my 80 up with 100. So if this one's my parts, what else am I going to add with this? What else am I going to put there? Diamond, go ahead. You're going to put 12. I'm going to put 12 here. And then here is going to be, I don't know. So then I'm going to do 12 divided by 80, because I'm going to try to figure out how many each little piece is worth. What's 12 divided by 80 in your calculadoras, por favor? In your calculadoras, por favor. Diamond, throw the ball for me, please. What is Fifteen hundreds, good. So then I know that each part, each little tick is going to be worth fifteen hundreds. And how many do I have, Javier? How many do I have of them? A hundred. So how can I figure out what fifth, what one hundred, fifteen hundred would be? What operation do I need to do? Multiply. So fifteen hundreds times one hundred equals. Fifteen. Okay. So I get fifteen. All right. The other way I could do it is set up two different tape diagrams with a part and a hole, and a part and a hole, and keep my ratios together. So for the first one, I would put my part is 12, and I don't know what my hole is. That looks horrible, so let me erase. I don't know what my hole is, and then I would put my, my percent down here. I have 80 over 100. So then I would do 80 divided by 100. How can I write 80 hundredths as a decimal? Point eight zero or just point eight. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my point eight. And if my number on if I know my number on top, 
I'm going to divide. If I know my number on bottom, I'm going to multiply. Okay, so my number that I know is on top, so which operation am I going to do? Divide. Divide. So I'm going to do 12 divided by 0.8. And what do I get? 12 divided by 0.8. What do you get? your number on bottom, you multiply. Just like here, in this one, I knew my number on bottom, so I multiplied. If I would have known my number on top, I would have divided. So make sure you're paying attention to which operation you're going to use.